Hello there. So we have our nice little electric cute bot here. And I'm going to add to it on one of the set of pins a potentiometer, which is a dial. It is a variable resistance, so therefore it's going to send a, every time I turn the dial, it sends a different signal, a different value. So it's an input. It's an analog input because it's going to send a continuous range of numbers as opposed to a digital input like a button, which is on or off. This is going to set a range of numbers. Now you need to know the range of numbers because you've got to maybe do something with that range of numbers. For example, this range of numbers goes 0 to 1023. You need to know that. Um, I also have plugged in here some NeoPixels. So I'm going to use the dial to change the brightness on the NeoPixels. Now, sometimes, you know, plugging this dial in doesn't always work right, but let me walk you through it. Um, ignore this green. I don't want to tear this green wire off because I need four later on. Um, so I'm putting these on pin one. And again, we have yellow for signal, red for power, and black for ground. Now where those go is that my yellow signal is in the middle. My red wire is actually my ground, so that's going on this. If you keep the uh, orientation, this is power, this is signal, this is ground. There's no labels on it. I kind of wish they'd label them because uh, I was flipping around with all different ways to try and wire this and it wasn't working. I could have sworn I had it wired like this and it wasn't doing it for me. But then I did it one last time and it worked. Now it might be my connections aren't weren't perfect because those are the pins and they may not have a great connection to the to the socket. That's why people saw that's why electricians solder things. Um, alligator clips would, would be would be good too. Um, so again, this is voltage, this is signal, and this is ground. Let me double check. Orange is voltage. Yes, my orange wire is going to the red pole, red pin. Yellow is signal. Yes, yellow is going to yellow. And red is ground. And yes, my red wire is going to the black. Okay, and then I've got NeoPixels plugged in here on um, pin 2. Uh, NeoPixels take 3 also. Oh, don't come apart. NeoPixels take 3. They have, again, <laughs> a power, a ground, and a signal. Um, just make sure you plug the right ones in the right ones. Again, good practice is to always plug ground in first and unplug ground last. So let's turn this puppy on and then I'll talk about what happened. So let me turn the lights off. So I'm going to turn my dial. Right now my dial is up full. And then I'll turn the dial down and hopefully you see it dimming. Boom, dial's down to zero. So that jump is because apparently the, the connection is not awesome in here. So we turn the dials again the other way and we're turning up to full brightness. So a dial can be used to turn a servo if you wanted to or the speed on something. Or the brightness, anything you've got a, a value, a variable value um, that you want to change in a continuous sweep from you know, 0 to this, again, the dial goes 0 to 1023. So we're just turning it as a dimmer switch, literally. So now here's why you need to know the numbers. Let's get off the webcam. Uh, let's go, let's go back to that. I'll, I'll, let's go to that code. I have that code already um, that I was using. 
again, first thing you have to do is you gotta get the NeoPixel um, extension. Up here, extensions, NeoPixel, boom. You have to tell it you have a strip of NeoPixels somewhere. I've got it on pin two and I've got 30. The other thing you have to do is we need to get that value from the potentiometer. Um, and it's uh, on pin one. So I need to create a variable. I just created a variable called dial. Just click make variable and type in dial. And it created a, this block and this block. Now I have to put a, put a value into my, um, into my variable. So go down to pins. And I went to set, where are we at? Oh, more, maybe? Snap. Wow, look at that. Oh, that was just the variable. Back with the variable. Duh. I'm sorry. Then we have to set the variable dial to something. Well, that something happens to be down here in pins, it is the analog read. Again, analog just means it's a, see how those two look the same? So one's pin one, boom. So I got on pin one analog, okay. So there we go. So we're taking the value from my dial and sticking it into a variable called dial. Now we're gonna use it. Um, so in our forever, I told you strip to show rainbow. And uh, again, I, I set, I always like to set it here initially on start. I didn't actually need to. I, I just got to make sure I do it in forever also. Um, I just, for some reason, I've always been, somebody that does initial values. Um, so that was the initial value. I could have set that initial value to zero. Uh, so I just copied that, but same thing here, because it's got to show up in forever, because when this loop runs, it's got to keep setting um, the value of dial. And then I come to strip. Let's see, where's my NeoPixels? Here's my NeoPixels. And I found strip brightness. No, it's not there. It's under more. So I went here and I found set brightness to 255. Uh-oh. My value is coming in at 1,024, 1,023. The max value here is 255. So I need to change my um, value to only be in a range of 0 to 255. Um, so I just did some simple math and said, well, if I divide by 4, that pretty much does it, right? 1023 divided by 255. This is actually like 1020. Um, so that's why I did, that's why I did this. Now, where did I do that? Um, that would be math. Here's math. Do some math. Take my dial. That's a variable. Dial is a variable. Take dial and then do something with it. Plus, minus, multiply, divide, divide by, and then I said four. Because that would get me pretty close. There is another way. Um, I don't remember where the other way is. Is it's uh, it's called mapping. Um, you basically there should, there's a block somewhere in there that you take it and say, hey, take my value from zero to ten thousand twenty three, and convert it to zero to two fifty five. So it does, it does the math for you. Um, but I can't remember where that, where that, where that, where that one is. So this was simple math. So there is using a potentiometer. 